Hi everyone. USA permanently bans Kaspersky's the greatest Russian antivirus software. So, what are the reasons? President Biden has issued a ban on the sale of all Kaspersky security software in the United States effective immediately. The ban also extends to the use of Kaspersky software starting September 29th, and applies to consumers, the government and businesses. Most importantly, the ban includes security updates for existing customers. The Department of Commerce issued a so-called final order prohibiting Kaspersky and its affiliates from conducting transactions in the United States. This makes it illegal to sell, integrate, or license any Kaspersky cybersecurity software on national security grounds. The Bureau of Industry and Security, after reviewing Kaspersky cybersecurity transactions and services, found that they pose unacceptable risks to the national security of the United States and the security and safety of its people. Specifically, BIS said the intended risk factors were threats posed by the Russian Federation. Vulnerabilities created by Kaspersky's national security products and the impact of their exploitation by Russia. The Commerce Department statement claims that tampering with Kaspersky software, including critical U.S. infrastructure, could create significant risks of data theft, espionage, and system downtime. It could also jeopardize the nation's economic security and public health, resulting in casualties or losses. In spirits, there are no new sales or agreements with U.S. persons as of July 20. There are no new security software updates as of September 29. A Kaspersky spokesperson said the company believes the decision is based on the current geopolitical climate and theoretical concerns, and not on a comprehensive assessment of the safety of Kaspersky's products and services. While committing to pursue all legally available options to undo the ban, Kaspersky's statement insisted that Kaspersky does not engage in activities that threaten U.S. national security and, in fact, has made significant contributions through its reporting and protection from a variety of threat actors that have targeted the interests of the United States and its allies. I will leave it for your comments. And thanks for watching.